Hey everybody, Ryan F. MTG here, and today is another deck tech and some games with the new hero, Zero. But before we get into the deck, I just want to remind everyone that I am on a schedule, so you can expect new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And please pet the little corgi in the bottom right corner, that's the sub button, and every sub means a lot to me. So let's talk about the deck. Like I said before, we're using Zero, which is the newest hero to come to the Land of Illusions, or well, at least venture towards the Land of Illusion, and we're using Takoha, the hero power. This gives a friendly unit plus two in combo just for one attack. Now, just for one attack kind of stinks a little bit, however, this is still such a powerful effect since most of our units have flight evasion and usually we'll use this hero power right the last second to just win the game or get the opponent pretty close where the next hit will win the game. Now most all of our units have flight kind of like what I said before because we just want to fly over with evasion to just keep hitting the opponent directly and not really care about their muddle board state. And we are playing a place at the Pyrobat because a uh, 3 MP for a 4-2 with flight is very good rate as well as a playset of the Sloth, you know, 3 MP for a 2-5, which, yes, it doesn't have flight on the base level, but as soon as it gets growth, it gets flight, and then even if it gets growth again, it inflicts halt on an enemy unit for 13 seconds. So overall, this is a pretty good value engine for this deck. Of course, we're playing the little fluff ball himself, you know, 3 MP for a 1-6 with flight. So those stats aren't fantastic. Well, that's a lot of HP, but not a lot of attack. However, if you ascend... With this, it gains agility and halt an enemy unit for 13 seconds. And that's awesome because agility is so good. A lot of the times we're not necessarily ascending with this, but still just a 3 MP for a 1-6 body is great. And that's what this deck wants to be playing. And then uh, our last play set is the newest black monster. And this, this card, I think, is the unit that really made me want to brew and play with this deck. It's 3 MP for 1-5 with flight already. That's great. When played, you sacrifice 3 life. Okay, that's a little drawback and not great. However, it has resonate plus 1 attack. So we're playing a lot of pump spells and stuff. So every single time we play a pump spell, even if it's not on this unit, this is still getting pumped. So I love this unit. And then our, old, our last unit, and this is the only one without flight, is Jury, because Jury is such a powerhouse where she could just win games on her own, right? If she hits once and then you you explore once, it just kind of the game could be over. Now you could be asking yourself, okay, so you have all these flight creatures, but what else are you doing and why are you really in black? Because most all of the stuff that I've shown off is purple. Well, black is for the efficient pump spells. So we're doing Heartless Experiments. This is just awesome 1P pump spell. Also a playset of Psycho Power because 2 MP cannot get much better than this. And yes, you are losing 3 life and 3 life. However, we want to win the game really fast. And so that life sacrifice usually isn't a big deal. However, if we don't win the game really fast, sometimes we lose because we dealt ourselves a lot of life. But that's kind of, you know, the double-edged sword of a lot of these black pump spells that we're also playing a playset of Blood Breath Frenzy. This is a new one. It's 3 MP, so a little bit higher than what I love because this is not free in the active response phrase. However, this is so much value that it's definitely worth a 3 of. Yes, you sacrifice 2 life, but you give a friendly unit plus 1 plus 2. Right there, that's pretty good. Like That health can go a long way of trading and stuff like that, keeping your threat on the board. Memory 2, which is very easy for this deck to get. You also give additional plus one plus one and spill over. Spill over is not necessarily great because we are flying over, but the plus one plus one is nice and spill over does come into effect every once in a while. And memory four, which is a little harder, but that's definitely not that hard since we are playing so many actions where memory four is checked off quite often. Additionally, that unit performs an instant attack and that can just whip finish the game right off. And it's like, okay, do you have an answer for this? If not, we win the game. Our only other pump spells are the two legendaries because yet again, this one is so good. Yes, the memory seven of additionally give it that unit flight and agility. You know, most of our stuff already have a flight. Agility is great to give a unit. The memory seven is pretty hard because like I said, we usually win the game very fast or lose the game kind of fast. So yes, even though we are playing a lot of actions, the memory seven is a tall order, but this is just two MP 
give a friendly unit plus three attack and I'm in for that. And then of course we're doing forbidden fruit because three MP plus three attack and also that this soaks up the damage. Yes, it's dealing us more damage and now you can kind of see how all these damage effects to ourself does really hurt us and does make these games fast. Then to round all this up, we are playing a playset of Crystal Hunter. Yes, this doesn't pump our units. However, it's good with Resonates because it's just another nice cheap 2 MP play. Also, it can help our units stick on the board a little bit more, right? So they're taking a little bit more damage and kind of hit for that final cu last couple points of damage. And then we are playing a playset of Unforeseen Interference. This is 3 MP, you know, negate something 3 MP or less. And this is great because Fate of the Unworthy is seeing a lot of play and this negates it. Or Murder Spikes, there's so many low MP things that are two or three that we love to use Unforeseen Interference. And I really like this one over, you know, other ones that you have to lose life because we're already losing so much life. I don't wanna nix our life total by half um, so this is why this is my playset of choice for counter spells. Starting off against Ryu, and I will say that Ryu is a very hard matchup, uh, but it is Shoryuken, so it's combo. So that matchup is a little bit better, but because all of our stuff usually has pretty low HP, a lot of, you know, their Hadoki could just kill stuff right out, stuff like that. So Ryu could be a tough call. I kind of want to just drop Jury, see if Jury can get in. If not, we can Forbidden Fruit it. It's nice because they haven't played anything, so it's not doing that much. It's not doing damage right away. Well, now it's doing one damage. I think we have to... No, because this will kill it. This will kill Ryu in one hit because this will go to five. But unfortunately, it just has one protection left because the Ryu, you know, did one. Ah! So it has no protection left. I kind of want to do... I kind of want to do this. To give it... Even though our memory is just one, so it's just getting the plus one, plus two, but this will be a six, five, and we do have a counterspell backup. I don't think I care about that. And I don't really want to do like a one free MP because then they could just do this. Prove to me what you're made of. Okay, that was a little unfortunate. Um, let's see what they have here. I think we just halt. Even though Jerry's not going to hit in, but they're wasting so much time with Jerry to deal with her, so that's kind of okay, but Jerry's getting so weak now. That's fine, because we're halting it. I think I kind of want to pump this up, because I don't think that if they have a way to kill Jerry right here, maybe that was greedy, but Jerry's not going to really get in, and so now our fluff bucket hopefully could start poking in for a three damage here. Yet again, I kind of want to pop this on Jerry because this will just give her how much? 3 HP, which will be great. Uh, that's okay. I don't really want to use our 1 AP because I don't want them... I want to hold that counter spell up, right? I actually want to do this on here because Jury's just going to get so much where they might just have to keep on throwing stuff there. Um, Let's just pump up. Who cares about that? Let's just go for lethal. Because <laughs> we also have our critical on deck. So this is not it, so, you know, but that's why, like, just one more hit will will do it. And that 
should be it. Okay. Yeah, because then the fluff bucket was just winning. That See, that's the power of jury right there. It just took so much resources and that our bat just kept on going in for the win. Akuma action. Probably a more combo Akuma. We can keep this. I like these counter spells. We don't have pump spells, which kind of stinks. And we definitely want to play this first, just for the simple fact that, you know, we want to give this flight, so then we'll pop this. What? Both have two power. But hopefully they do something so we can... Ah, no. You know what? I think we... I kind of just want to do this just to cantrip, get our AP up, and not take damage. I think we kind of punted there because you should always make sure you, like, have three so we can unforeseen circumstance, especially since we had it in our hand, right? We are a little bit too fast on that play. So kind of like right here, because if they do like a pump spell or something, then we'll use our pump spell and we still have unforeseen circumstances. Destroy units. Nope. Oh, no, that's five. Of course we can't unforeseen circumstance that. Uh, Yeah, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, let's go. Let's <laughs> let's get rid of that. Let's just do this. We could have dropped this here, but that does not kill in one hit. If this hits, we're in golden shape. If it doesn't, I'm a little scared. Okay, that's pretty good. We need to kill this in one hit, because this is this is just going to get so off. Oh. How much longer does it have the veil for? The sack is too big. Hopefully Jury can get there in time. Oh no. Oh, I didn't need to use our hero power. That was a punt, because it already has... Uh. Okay, can we get there? So we are having stuff, but now we can't use, like, Psycho Power and stuff like that. I kind of wanted to leave the bat so that we could halt something, but it just seemed a little bit... Uh... Nah, they're, they're going to get us. But that doesn't matter. That was close. This that that this monster really did work. That doesn't matter. Yeah, sacrifice. And that's what it really seeks about all our pump spells of like when we got to that three life, it's not like we can't do anything. I don't think any of this matters because I think the, like they'll hit before our bat, and even if our bat hits or something, it's not. Yo, we're so close, but yet so far away. Oh. Nero, we could keep this. I like how Nero's kind of like seen some more play now with some of the new cards. We could just, we should have dropped that right away because there's really no point in waiting. I kind of just want to drop both of these because getting double resonate feels so good. Let's do this because this will actually, uh, it will keep this around a little bit longer. This is going to just get eaten. That little silence dying though was pretty good for them. I think we want to counter this. Because if this, if this grows that's going to be pretty problematic for us so i think we try to silence it and then hopefully they don't have anything that just runs into our five five I'm not done. 
They could have another unit. Okay, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> we can... Let's just pump this up. Use the free AP. Okay, well, they surrendered. That's a little unfortunate, but I think that game was going pretty well for us. Okay, back-to-back -back Nero True Power. I believe this is a different opponent. We could keep this. Now, I like to jam uh, Jury usually, but with their silence dinos and so much... So many, like, MP ramp units and stuff. I don't think it's worth it. What? Why? That was weird. I thought I played, which really stinks. Yeah, I don't think this is the same opponent. Okay, you know what? Now we're going to go for it. Now, knowing that this is a little bit different, we could, we could try it. Let's counter that. <laughs> Firm but fair. Firm but fair. But that's kind of nice because we do have other things that we would like them to not silence, so... I don't even know if I really... Let's just do this. To get- to do some free stuff. If they do it again, we could just like do this. I don't know if that's- I really want to get- yeah, let's just do it. Even though this is silence, it's still hitting in, and this, like, deck does not play tons of units, most likely. It might just be the one of units. So, you know, just getting for seven could be pretty good, just, like, kind of going through our deck. There is a world where maybe... Oh, okay, they do have more units. Um... Let's do this. Because here I actually kind of want to get one big thing because we're so close to our hero art. So this could be a little risky because if they drop something right here, that's going to be terrible. But if not, this is going to do so much damage and we got there. That feels great. Let's go for the win. Because this will be seven. That's the win. They could have a way to like deal with this and that would feel bad. But if not, we're just an obvious. We're not doing anything else. Right. Because we have the win here, we're not using the free AP, and yeah, we close out the game. Winning fast or not winning at all. <laughs> okay, this is some like good like lore matchup against Charge Shot X here. We can keep this. Yeah, we can keep it. We do only have one unit, but I do like that we have the counter spell. And I kind of always want to be playing with the counter spell in mind. As I say that, we don't play with it in mind, but that's okay. Let's just do this. Hopefully they'll have a silence or something. I was just like a little too fast. I think we try to counter this. It's not the... Well, actually... You know what? Let's not care about that. Like, yes, it's bad, but it's not the worst, right? Like, that's fine. It's going to go back to a 1-5, but now we just have this 7-2 that's going to soak up damage. If they have a seal, then that's going to be pretty bad, but I would almost rather wait for this Unforeseen to, like, protect our bat right now i do just want to play a one cost let's just do this just so this can start to kill that a little bit faster poco some more because sometimes you want to go all in on one unit but since this bat is so big i'm okay kind of you know towing the line i don't think they this could be risky because now we're putting our defenses down, but I don't think, I think the stack was too big. They used too much MP that they, we are pretty safe to not leave that up for right now. Because 
Now, this is where I don't think it's safe, right? However, I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> Not safe, let's go. <laughs> okay. We we got heavily punished. However, it's still a 10-10. So like It's just going to kind of chill there. But now we do have the bat that we could just kind of try to win the game with. You know what? I think we don't care. I don't think we care about this X. We could try to do that, but I think I would rather save the MP, just play like a bat right here. And go for this. Because this is going to be 918, and this will be lethal. Yeah. Even if that wasn't lethal, we could just drop, like, a bat or something in the axe and just soak up some damage. Overall, we went 4-1. We lost to the Kuma, and a lot of our games, as you saw, were very fast. We either won very fast or lost very fast. I know I keep saying that, but since we are playing, one, just aggressive pump spell stuff, that tends to either, you know, close out the game or just kind of falter a little bit. But we are playing so much life loss that that really means every two damage that our opponent's dealing us really hurts more because we're dealing ourselves so much damage. But overall, I like Takoha. I think this list is, it's very fun. I like aggressive combo-y flight decks, right? And it's very fun because there's a lot of grindy decks running around the metagame. Also, there are some really aggressive decks running around the metagame, but I like this deck right now. It's very fun. It's very good. I'm not saying it's the best deck out there, but it's definitely, you can definitely do good with it in this metagame for sure. This does have a big, big problem with Ryu and especially the more traditional Hadouken Ryu because all the BB hoods and stuff like that just hurts us so much when we have a 4-2 body you know almost anything just kills this right off the bat and Ryu is the king of you know two for one value right there and Ryu right now isn't seeing tons right the more burn oriented Ryu is seeing some play some combo Ryu but people are more brewing around however I see that changing in the future because I think Ryu will still be good you know he's always kind of around but right now where Ryu's not tons in the ladder. This is still a pretty good choice, but thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time.